Howdy folks, welcome back to Faded Paint Garage. So we got the 71 Dodge Cornette police car back in the shop today. As you can see, we've added some accessories since last time. Uh, this police light bar came up for sale locally on Facebook, so I had to go pick it up and set it on there. It's not bolted on, it's just on there for fun right now. And then my brother picked me up some Arizona State Trooper magnets, so we threw those on the door. Uh, not scaled correctly, but it's still kind of fun, kind of cool. So today what we're doing is uh, we're going to replace the radiator and the cooling system. So we bought a new radiator over here. I'm just going to put an aluminum one in. I'm not going for a NOS restoration here, so that'll be fine. Uh, we're going to do the radiator, water pump, thermostat, belts, hoses, all that just regular stuff. That, you know the Oh, and this thing here. Uh, it was leaking cooler. I thought it was the water pump that was leaking, but it ended up being this uh, I don't know you call that thermostat housing where the upper radiator hose goes, hose goes. It was just completely rotten So I got one of those so we'll have, go ahead and go through all that stuff um, today Nothing exciting. It's kind of maintenance things, but this will actually allow us to drive the car a little bit more It was just spewing uh, cooling everywhere. There's a le uh, crack in the radiator here and then that thing there was leaking like a sieve so so that's what we got going on. Nothing too exciting. We'll maybe do a little filming as we go. Wife's down here today helping me out, so this should go pretty smooth, I think. So let's get started. So here's, there's a good lesson for new mechanics that aren't sure how how to get the feel of how tight things should be, is torque wrenches. You can usually find torque specs on the internet and you'll feel that. So this is set to 30 foot pounds. So you'll feel that wrench give when you get there. What do you mean give? Like it's just gonna It'll stop? It'll click or something, yeah. I can't it's remember. It's not gonna, that. I'm not gonna ram my hands into the. Well, I hope not. Right there. So now you know that's the proper torque that the engineers at Mopar said we should attach this water pump to the engine with. And as you know, as you do this a bunch, you get a feel for things, but this is the safe way to do it. That way you know you're torqued down correctly. Perfect. And then when you're done with the torque wrench, you always want to Take it back down to zero. You don't want to store it in the uh, setting that you had. So it's got a lock nut on the bottom. So you unscrew that thing and then you unscrew the handle towards down to zero. Yep. And then we move on. So we got the water pump installed. We're waiting for the thermostat to cool off. I used a heat gun to test to make sure that it opened, um, which it did and that worked fine. Normally I put them in boiling water but this was way easier to do it that way. And then the other thing that I went ahead and did is I drilled a small eighth inch hole in it. This will allow air to bleed um, in case you get a air pocket or something in your cooling system when you're filling it up. These, that's that I always recommend putting a little bleeder in that if it doesn't come with one. Okay, I'm making more progress here. So we've got the thermostat housing back on. And what I've found unfortunately is the thermostat is a little bit loose in here like the embossment or where they cut the relief that housing's a little too much but i don't think that's a big deal it's i mean when i say loose it's just barely loose so i'd rather a little water get by than uh not so uh we'll live with it and i can always change it out later if, if i want but i'm not too worried about it so we're gonna this thing must have a bad heater core it's just got a bypass loop on the heater hose so we're going to go ahead and change that hose while we're in here make sure it's um, decent and then we'll start putting her back together we've got new belts and stuff for it got our belts back on we're getting the fan put back on now coming along pretty good we did run into a little issue with this bypass hose 
I had to the there are different sizes on each end so they the, whoever did it before would manage to get one hose to fit both sides but we used a little adapter to jump from one side to the other so it's just hidden behind that little bracket not that it matters that's going to be taken off once we get the heater core fixed later on so that's not a big deal but they got kind of this neat little bracket here that actually keeps the hose away from the fan belt which is good idea so carrie's getting bolts of the fan blade and pulley stuck back on there Working on getting this aluminum radiator fitted to the car. These always seem to take a little bit of tweaking. Um, one thing also is the fan shroud, the factory fan shroud is a little too narrow. So I'm able to kick it over to where I can screw it into the side of the new radiator on this side. But I'm going to have to build some little brackets or I put a strip in here or something to bridge the gap to that one. Um, you can see here I've had to notch this out to get around the body of the car and also had to do some It doesn't look very pretty, but I just kept fitting it and trying to fit it had to notch this out to fit the bolt to the core support um, And then I had to wall that one out a little bit too, but I think that'll work um, Just kept notching notching so I'll work on getting something here and Carrie's working on taking the battery box out so we can get into the around the radiator to get that lower bolt in and get the fan shot in there once we get to that point so make it some headway on that otherwise looking good so far so what i've done is i found some just junk aluminum plate and just extended that so i drilled and tapped these for quarter inch and i'm just using roofing screws to run this into the radiator so i think that'll work so right now we're trying to rustle in that lower radiator bolt on that side but we're still plugging away here getting our upper radiator hose put on here Finally got the shroud on. It was a bit pain to butt. We had to modify almost all the holes a little bit, but I think that's to be expected. But it should work. Definitely want to run a fan shroud. That's how the fan is able to create suction to pull air through the radiator when the car is not moving. So don't say, oh, I don't need it and toss it because you'll be sitting in traffic on a summer day and get hot. Yeah, I'll we can when we're all done. That looks good. Okay, I'll try to get that bottom one now. All right, we got it all back together and just ran it up to temp. So far, no leaks. And uh, probably going to run and grab dinner next. So I'll probably do the cleaning up tomorrow. Take it outside. Let's see if we got any drips. Nope, nothing yet. So we'll call it quits for tonight and then uh, probably film a little bit more tomorrow, tinker around with it. And sure runs good. The engine's really snappy. I'm really impressed with it. So it should be a good runner. All right, it's the next morning and there's no leaks under the car, which is super awesome. So I'll give Carrie credit for that because usually when I do this, I end up with some sort of leak to chase down. And uh, so far on this one's been good. Um, we'll uh, run it outside, let it warm up for a little bit, and then uh, probably be it for now. I need to do, uh, this don't have license or insurance yet, so I can't really do anything with it other than just tinker on it for the moment. I did want to show you 
the uh, factory water pump that it took out. So this should be the high volume pump and it's a factory unit it looks like. So it's got six blades and from what I understand the normal water pump would have seven. So for whatever reason less blades flows more water. Uh, I'll keep this guy. It seems to be fine. It wasn't leaking after all. It ended up being that water neck thermostat housing. So I might rebuild that or something since it's an original part. I don't know. I'm a uh, Mopar guy, so don't throw nothing away if it's any good. Um, usually keep stuff that's not good. Anyway, we'll fire it up, pull it outside, let it run for a little bit, and then uh, that'll probably be it for now. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.